love ultra shoes because I can run naturally. I also got to stand on UTMB podium with them. ¿Qué tal amigas y amigos de Trail Running Review? Estamos aquí en Chamonix, concretamente con Stian Angergun, eh, corredor que correrá la OCC eh, mañana y sin duda uno de los favoritos, por lo menos en el UTMB Index dentro de los puntos, eh, está claro favorito. So bon Stian, día. buen día. Yeah. Yeah. Always, always Spanish. Sometimes uh, uh, you can do that. All amigos de Trail Running Review as yeah, well. Yeah, I tried that before, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it's been a while. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, so I was saying, um, we're here in Chamonix, probably, you know, uh, the biggest race of the year, but you come from uh, the World Championship, so congratulations. Um, after that, you haven't um, raced that much, right? I don't sense that I've done four races. Four races? That's a, that's a lot, yeah. The yeah. main mistake. <laughs> no, I was running Dolmy Sky Race. Yeah. And I was running, uh, oh, I, I forget the name. It's, uh, okay. it, it's a race in the mountain running series, mm -hmm. uh, Monte... No, uh, the Nigle, uh, something like it's, uh, yeah. it's uphill race, like down in the valley here. It's yeah. a very nice race. Mm -hmm. So I did that one, and I did the uh, Comayer double vertical. Yeah. And uh, during the summer, we've been hanging out in a place called Avoria, that yeah. is uh, an hour and 40 minutes drive from here. So I've done a local race there called uh, Trail des Hotfors. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you think, um, uh, like coming from a world championship, that I'm, I'm guessing, you know, you, you gotta um, spend a lot of time training? Mm. Uh, do you think you have enough time to rest to get to a, the best shape here in OCC? Yeah, I think so. It's been uh, several months uh, between the trail running world championship mm -hmm. and, and this race. And uh, yeah, for me, the, the world championship was a big goal for the year and in my opinion, the most important race of the year. Mm -hmm. So uh, that was the big goal, but I feel I'm in good shape now and I'm super excited to be, uh, to be here with, uh, with my new team in Essex mm -hmm. and to, to hang out with them. It's like a wonderful uh, group of people and uh, So, uh, and to race with them tomorrow will be super fun. Bueno, Stian que nos dice que eh, campeón del mundo eh, hace unos meses estuvo aquí corriendo varias carreras dentro del Valle incluso y que viene a OCC de, después de bastantes meses, eh, cree que descansado en buena forma y que además por primera vez llega aquí a Chamonix con cambio de equipo, que está con ASICS ahora y que nos dice que es eh, la verdad que muy divertido, muy buen ambiente que hay dentro del equipo, eh, juntamente con Sara Alonso, eh, Andreu, etcétera. Uh, y, y que por primera vez pues vendrá con el equipo. So um, you know how to feel, um, how it feels to win the OCC. You yeah. you won it uh, one, two three years ago. 2019. 2019. Yeah. Before COVID. And um, I don't know uh, what's the feeling of you know crossing the finish line here at the in the first position in Chamonix. It's uh, of course it's uh, it's a big race, so it's fun to finish first, like in other big races. Yep. That is, uh, of course, uh, of course, that is fun. Uh, but the best thing uh, when crossing a finish line is to know, like when you know you have done like the best possible preparation and you have done uh, the like best performance, uh, best performance at, that you could, mm. and then to cross the finish line, that's a fantastic feeling. If you win, it's a bonus. If you number like hundred. Who cares? Like if you had done the best performance you can, then it's like a fun, wonderful feeling crossing the finish line. Yeah, and I again, you know, I honestly, um, I honestly agree with this, and I, I see you like you know having uh, uh, worse, worse probably worse performance, yeah. but happy until the end. You always yeah. are cheering the people up, so it's always <laughs> fun to see you. Uh, Estian nos dice que más que ganar en una carrera, que para él lo más importante es tener una buena preparación, hacer la mejor carrera que puedes hacer y luego eh, que ganas, pues es un bonus. Que no ganas, pues bueno, es lo que has podido dar en ese momento. So, OCC, uh, what do you think is the, is the key of this race? I think it's about pacing it right. Yeah. I remember when I did this race in 2019, people were exploding up from the start. They were yeah. just sprinting super fast. And I remember in uh, around halfway to a place, uh, town called Trion. Yeah, yeah, Trion. And, and uh, there I was six minutes behind the leader. And at the top of that climb, I was together with the leader. Yeah. So it's, it's possible to start slow and then finish strong. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it's easier said than done. Like when yeah, you put yeah, on yeah, the bib, yeah, there's something like mentally that happening. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's nice to have a plan, but to follow it, it's not always easy. Mm -hmm. But pacing it is uh, the most important, the big challenge. 
Nos dice que OCC eh, hay mucho nivel, la gente sale muy fuerte y, y cree que la clave está en mantener tu ritmo durante toda la carrera, que nos dice que en Trien está incluso seis minutos detrás del líder y que arriba del todo del, del collado, que, I think it's la balm, the, 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 point, yeah, the, the top point or something, or yeah, something, so, something like that. I'm not so good with yeah, the names. That's okay. <laughs> eh, ya, ya lo alcanzó, así que tuvo tiempo incluso para llegar aquí con algo de margen. So last question, Trien. Yeah. Um, what shoes do you want to wear? Uh, tomorrow on the OCC for uh, the OCC? I won't, will wear like a six uh, Fuji Speed 2. Okay. Yeah. It's the same one as you were in the World Championship? Yeah, it's the same model. Uh, why this shoe? Uh, it's, it's a shoe that suits me very well. It has, um, especially on these faster races where it's like not that technical, yeah. uh, then it's, uh, it's a shoe that has like good cushioning, it also has a carbon plate, yeah. but I feel like it's a shoe that can run very fast with. Mm -hmm. It also works very well in uh, technical terrain, but if it's like very, very technical, then I will use another Another pair, but like in this kind of uh, races, this is a very good shoe. Ok, pues Estian, que va a usar las Fuji Speed 2, que ya usó en el Campeonato del Mundo, básicamente porque son unas zapatillas dinámicas con placa de carbono y que incluso en terrenos más técnicos también se defienden bastante bien. Si fuera muy técnico, nos dice que usaría yeah. otro par de zapatillas. Uh, the other pair is a prototype? No, or, the other pair is actually this one. That's a Fuji okay. Light 4. Ah, Fuji Light 4, ok. Yeah, so that's, the, yeah, yeah. that's a pair I will use like in more technical terrain. Okay. Okay. So, uh, but the outsole is, uh, I think it is much of the, it's the same. I just received those, mm -hmm. I haven't run that much with them. Okay. Okay. But uh, the outsole is uh, much of the same, but the midsole is a little bit, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. like the stack height, what's it called? Like it's, it's, it's lower. It's taller. Oh, it's lower. It's okay. Lower than mm -hmm. the Fuji, Fuji okay. Speed, okay. so then you have like more contact more with sense. the ground. Yeah, more feeling. No, it, if it's, the stack height is too tall, mm -hmm. um, yeah, then, then it's like, that, that yeah, feeling. Yeah, the feeling is also like easier to twist. Uh -huh. So I think in like in more technical, like sky running, yeah. this could be an awesome shoe. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, so uh, <laughs> Fuji Speed 2 is gonna be. Eh, nos dice que si fuera más, más técnico, correría con las Fujilite 4 por un tema de que es el perfil algo más bajo, más sensaciones de terreno y justamente por eso. Pero va a correr con las Fuji Speed 2. Thank you so much. Best of luck. Thank and you. for sure, enjoy the race as you do always. And we like to see that. Thank you so much. It's, it, will be, it will be fun.